Okay, we're just going to start our training session now. This is for the Sage 200 year end. Um, so what it is, is that in the software, obviously, you have a, a nominal ledger sales pitch, etc. And the nominal ledger has a current financial year. Um, that year in my current system, um, as I will just show you, is also up an account system manager, and then the maintain accounting periods option. Okay, so our current financial year is from the 1st of January 2015 through to the end of December 2015. So basically, uh, calendar year of 2015. So what I'm going to do is run the year end uh, uh, in order to get myself through so that I'm now in the new financial year of 2016. So that's just in my future financial years currently on here. So we can see the dates on there. We'll go back to this financial year. So what it is, in order to run our year end, we need to have run the individual period ends for all of the um, individual modules, so sales purchase, cash book stock, and nominal adjustments. Okay, so in order to close off those, all I do is I highlight uh, the module in, in question and click change period status. If I don't have access to this option, um, that's down to user permissions and you'll need to speak to your system as administrator to resolve that if you don't have access to this. But what we need to do is get into a position where all of the 12 months of the calendar year or however many months there are, read that they're all closed. So if I just close that one off. Okay, so closing them off is just a case of clicking that and clicking run. Okay, so obviously prior to doing that you obviously run any reports necessary and make sure that everything adds up in your system. So I'm just going to close off sales, purchase, Cash book. Uh, stock. Okay, and then when I've done um, all of my normal journal entries, anything that I, that I normally run through, maybe like depreciation journals, etc., uh, I can then close off straight away this period 12. Uh, for nominals once I've got off my final statement. So I'd obviously run things like a trial balance, potentially profit and loss balance sheet, any transaction listings I need required for the year for the auditors, etc. Okay, then once I'm happy with all those and I've closed them all off there, um, I can then run the year end. What it does have is um, for any accounting adjustments or audit adjustments that come through after the year end, there is uh, effectively like this mystical period 13 that you can, you can use to post transactions in uh, using the routine called previous year journal entry within the nominal ledger. So you can't affect things that are sales or purchase related, uh, but anything that's just like a nominal, nominal adjustment that's required to be made then that's where you can post those routines in. What it does is, uh, the effect of running the actual year end is that it closes off, as I say, the current periods to financials and reverses off any profit and loss accounts against the profit and loss retained or our retained earnings nominal account. Um, by default in a standard uh, system, if it's been migrated from say a Sage 50 in the past, that'll be nominal account 3200. The profit and loss retained uh, is actually defined within your uh, nominal ledger default uh, default nominal account. So I'll just show you where you can find out what that nominal is. Okay, so I go to across to my nominal ledger. Okay, then I go to utilities uh, and then ledger setup and my default nominal accounts. Okay, so my default uh, profit and loss, the profit and loss retained, okay, is listed in here. Okay, and it's uh, accumulated profit in there, which is currently set to 99999 in my default um, test company. So I've just got a standard debt, Sage demo data set. And that's where that one's set to in there. So what happens is when you run a year-end routine, any nominal accounts where their reporting category defines them as being profit and loss type. So I'll just show you that bit in, on the system. So if I go into the so I'm in nominal ledger, I need to go into my ledger setup and my reporting categories. So go to reporting categories. Okay, so you can see here I've got like say, 0 02 freehold property set as a balance sheet account, 0304, etc. You've got stock, you've got debtors, these are all balance sheet accounts. Okay, when I get further down, you can see I've got like sales 
is my default category of say 31, which is a profit and loss account. So any that say profit and loss in here that are then attached. So that's reporting categories 31 uh, and higher are effectively all, uh, all profit and loss, apart from 96 and 90, 95 and 99, which are suspense and uh, retained profit nominals, which are balance sheet. So if, if I've got anything that's nine, between 94 and I think it was about 40, wasn't it? Okay, so 31. So any nominal accounts that, that if I show my list, that have a reporting category. So I'll just wait for that to come up. Okay, so you can see my reporting categories here. And you can see the report type there, whether it's balance sheet or not. So any of these that are balance sheet, they'll just retain in their accumulative uh, permanent rolling figure. Uh, but any of the profit and loss, when you're on a year end, it'll reset the account balance to zero for you. Um, so you then got a new a zero, zero starting figure on all your profit and loss for the start of the new financial year. Okay, so that's the effect of running a year end. So in order to do that, obviously, I need to, as I said, update all my transactions. So I need to check that I haven't got any waiting postings. So I can click on there and I can check that I haven't got anything set in my current waiting postings. So that's good. So that means there's nothing in there. I can quickly have a look at my deferred waiting postings, see if I have anything there. Again, I don't have anything in my particular uh, data set. Um, so that's good. So that means that I'm, I'm, I'm in a position where I can run my year end now. So I've closed off all my accounting periods as defined earlier. To now run my actual year end, all I do is I go to nominal ledger, period end routines, and year end. Okay, so I then get a warning to say, warning to say right, have you run off your final trial balance, etc. So I'll just confirm that yes, I have done all these that I needed. So I'll take those, take those. Then it has all the reports, so things like a closing age debtors, a closing age creditors, etc. Things to back up the figures that are on the uh, profit loss balance sheet and trial balance statements. So they're all the sort of things that you'd normally run off before you run the year end. To actually run it, we just then click OK. So this is now going to run through on there. Uh, it is always recommended to do have a backup of the data just before you run this year end again. Uh, but again, it's not. Um, if it's anything more than a couple of days after the year end, you're probably not going to want to restore that data anyway, because you'll have done quite a bit of work in the data set. But just in case, you can, you can do it in case you notice a problem straight away or realise that there's something straight away that's been missed off uh, when you were running your actual, uh, before you ran your year end. So I'm just letting that run through now. So it's just resetting, recalculating figures for the current year, closing those off, forwarding your uh, nominal balances, and also updating your, your other system, other bits in the system. Okay, so the other ones I've got, I've got year-end processing complete. It's recommended that I check and make sure that the accounting periods for the next financial year have been correctly set up. Do I want to set those now? So I'll say yes. So that allows me to look at them, see the dates. That's now 31st of Jan. So what I would then do is I'd proceed and open that period up. So I'll say I'll open sales up, etc. So you go on uh, through, through those and open them all up uh, in order to be ready for posting in the new year. Okay, that concludes our presentation uh, for the sales of, for the Sage 200 year end. Uh, hopefully it's been useful for you. Uh, and uh, that's the, that concludes that session. Thank you very much. Bye.